Okay, men, we're back talking about enemies of our successful family. We want a successful family. I want a successful family, and I know you do as well. Now let's talk about, let's talk about a doozy here today. How about the enemy of lust? When you were a baby, believe it or not, every one of you were a baby. Some of you probably still are kind of babyish, but every one of us grew up at one point. We were all babies at one point. You know what? Our life was re- revolved around you. The life revolved around eat, sleep, Eat, sleep, play, eat, sleep, play, eat, sleep, play. That's what we did. I mean, that's, that, uh, we were so selfish. We didn't, we didn't realize it, but we were so selfish because everything revolved around us. It revolved around our natural lusts. Now I want to challenge you, as you grow up, do not let, and as you are a grown man, do not let those lusts still run your life. The Bible says in Galatians that if you walk by the Spirit of God, that we won't be subject to the lusts of our flesh. And so I would challenge you, gentlemen, with the things that come out of your mouth, with the things that come in your eyes. Man, control your lust. Get that lust issue out of your life because that is an issue that can ruin your marriage. It's an issue that can ruin your family. It's an issue that can ruin your life and tear your career apart, whatever it happens to be. When you have uncontrolled lust and you are not walking by the Spirit of God and you're letting your flesh just get what it wants, man, that's a recipe for disaster. And so I would challenge every one of us in this, do not let your lust rule your life. In fact, I would recommend that everybody here in this fast today, because every single one of us needs to get our flesh in check. So I would challenge you, even the day that you're hearing this, I would recommend that you cut something out of your flesh appetite today and let your your flesh know who's boss. And if you have to skip a meal today, if you have to put your cell phone down today, do something to, f- to show your flesh that I'm going to walk by the Spirit today instead of the flesh. And I challenge you, that if, you're, if you do that and you're serious about it, then you're not going to obey the lust of your flesh, but you're going to walk by the Spirit of God. And I challenge you to do that in Jesus' name.